This week on Elkara Ham Radio, we're going to talk about what this thing is. That's what's coming up next. Alrighty, folks, we bring you back, and uh, as you saw with Chris's introduction, we are going to be working with a directional antenna. Now, this particular antenna is known as the SDF-1 Direction Finder. This is from Rainbow Kits and uh, Paul Turner, and he's been building these kits and many, many others like it. Uh, for over 30 years. Now, the antenna that you're going to see in the video coming up uh, as we progress is nearly 25 plus years old. Yes, 25 plus years. That's how long Paul has been making this particular antenna kit. And we got a lot of feedback during our fox hunt video. Why didn't we use more directional antennas? And that was a great suggestion. Of course, in that particular video, and I'll put a card up in the top right corner where you, if you haven't seen the Fox Hunt video, go watch it. We only used HTs, mobile radios, and one directional antenna to give us a quadrant to go search in. And uh, uh, we kept it really simple in that video on purpose, but we could have made our lives a lot easier if we had employed Doppler-based direction finders, or like in this case, the SDF-1. And if we had had a couple of these SDF-1s, we could have triangulated even sooner. So these kits, rainbow kits uh, by Electronic Hobby Kits, uh, Paul Turner in Indiana, uh, are readily available, and as you can see on the website here, about $45. Now, what we've done is just kind of laid it out on the table. We're going to do some beauty shots. Now, keep in mind, it's not the prettiest antenna. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, oxidation on some of the parts. Remember, it's 25-plus years. When AC4DM purchased this antenna many years ago, was with the idea of doing fox hunts with the club, and uh, it got kind of put on a shelf, and uh, we've resurrected it. And so this is what the kit looks like fully assembled. The next video that we're going to put out on this particular antenna is actually going to be a build of this antenna. The great thing is that uh, Paul puts together a great kit that's easy to assemble, and so we're going to put one together, and we're also going to give one of these away. So as you can see, we're looking at some of the nuts and bolts there where we've attached part of the uh, antenna leads to the telescoping antenna elements uh, there on that one end, and you have an identical pair on the other side of the antenna. The black box will open up in just a minute. This is with the uh, telescoping ends uh, uh, basically put back in place, and you can swing them in. And this is to allow the uh, kit to be easily transported. Uh, we're going to break it down a little bit further than this, but we wanted to show you it's not very long, maybe about uh, 20 inches, 24 inches, somewhere in that ballpark, and uh, easily transportable. We're using PVC in those white joints, and then we're utilizing uh, some uh, kit boards, some screws, and the telescoping antennas. And this is what it looks like if you pull uh, the PVC out of the uh, T-joint there, coming out of the uh, uh, kit box, uh, uh, you can see how small you can make this. And so you could put this into a go kit, go get one of those uh, uh, travel kits at Harbor Freight or something similar to travel uh, or take it with you. And we plan to put this in the MCOM trailer so that we always have it available when we're out in the field. One last beauty shot here with the uh, case actually open, and uh, this is a big part of the assembly. When we actually uh, receive our kit to put together, we'll show you how all of this goes together. Notice it is powered by a 9-volt battery, and uh, outside of that, it has one PCB on the inside. A little bit of soldering needs to be done on the connector for the VNC connector and the power connector and the leads going out to the telescoping antenna elements. So relatively easy build. All of this is included in the kit. And here we have everything connected. Uh, you'll notice that we're utilizing the uh, Yaesu FT-70D, and uh, we're utilizing some adapters to ensure that we get everything connected. It does use a B and C on the bottom side of the box, and of course, we are SMA over on the Yaesu, so we needed some adapters to make that happen. A little bit of cable so that we have some length, 
and uh, all we have to do is just redeploy it, put the uh, PVC ends back together, extend those telescoping ends, and we'd be ready to go. I'd love to uh, do a quick little shot of this adapter kit. Folks, if you don't have an adapter kit, go get one. Uh, it's a, an investment. Uh, they're typically not inexpensive. Uh, I believe these can run anywhere from $80 to $100, but you can put one together yourself or buy one like this in the nice case, and it makes these types of projects easier because you can find the exact fittings that you need. And then finally, we have C, uh, KY4 CKP uh, doing one more beauty shot with everything extended and connected. It does look a little bit of a Frankenstein on those adapters, but it does allow us to get everything connected. Very little loss for this particular application, even though we're probably using four or five different little adapters to get everything connected. So it's a, a little bit funny, but uh, a great way to show off the ultimate way of uh, uh, putting this together and getting it ready for a test. All right, so we're back, folks, and we're just going to do some more initial testing of the SDF-1 directional finding antenna. Uh, we've got a kit of one of these coming in. We're going to show the build process for this. They still make these today, and uh, but we want to show this off. We've got a 9-volt battery inside. Uh, KY4 BDP Brian has a handy talkie on low power, and he's walking out uh, away from us uh, uh, kind of in this direction, and uh, we, we just want to try to show that when you are broadside to the signal, you get a nice clean signal. When you point to it, you hear the tone, you'll hear the dip. Let's turn it on, see what we get. You hear how it dips right there? And when we're pretty much pointed right at him. As the signal gets best, you know, you're, you're basically pointing right the at him. The signal gets strong, he gets strong, but then when you point back, right at him, much, much less good, that tone goes much away. Much less copyable, then you have an idea of the direction because the antenna will essentially be pointing uh, at the location where it drops out. Running a test. On the Rainbow Kits, SDF-1, Sierra Delta Box Project. When you hear that tone go away. And uh, coming back into the studio, KY4 BDP. And it dropped out completely. So uh, you can see there, it is uh, really a very directional antenna. And uh, especially if you had a group of two or three people, um, you could really triangulate on something very easily with this. And, and it's portable in the field. Uh, this is powered off just a 9 volt and of course you could have your handy talkie and uh, or mobile units in your vehicle and you could track down a source uh, if you had to very easily with this so really pretty amazing this is an older unit uh, but we'll show building a, a new unit here pretty soon um, and not very expensive I think these are less than sixty dollars so uh, seems like it does a great job and uh, we're gonna be doing some more with this uh, you'll see this in upcoming videos uh, to come so uh, this is Chris KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73. All righty, before we let you go there, uh, I just wanted to come back in and let you know we did receive the kit uh, in the mail during the shooting of this video, and I wanted to show you what this kit looks like. Uh, it comes nicely packaged. All the parts are in there. I think the only thing that's not included in the kit is a 9-volt battery. So I'm sure you can supply one of those. And as we kind of pan over a little bit, you can see uh, I have Paul Turner's business card that comes in the mail with the kit. So any of you folks that are interested in getting a kit like this and don't mind to put a soldering iron in your hand just a little bit to put it together, go order uh, one or more of these kits. Uh, if you had two or three of these, as Chris mentioned, you'll be able to actually triangulate on somebody a little bit quicker. Uh, we're going to be putting one of these kits together uh, as a, uh, a future video here coming up very soon. And as we build that kit, we're also going to be announcing a giveaway of one of these kits as well. Go back and look at our fox hunt video without this and then think about how much easier or potentially easier the fox hunt could have been if we had had two or three of these deployed out in the field. So that'll wrap it up this week on El Cara Ham Radio. Stay tuned for the build of this particular antenna kit and the announcement of a giveaway of the SDF-1, the Searcher Radio Direction Finder 73.